Art Nation, it's Bingy again to give you another Talking Pictures review. This time, Robocop. Gotta admit, I was going into this thing to riff on it, to make fun of it, because how kind of fuck can you go from rated R to damn PG? This movie actually kind of worked. There was two things I did not like about this movie. First one is Robocop having the black suit on in the entire hat last half of the movie. For no other reason than just to show the new style. Kind of pissed me off, but that's a new thing that they gotta go with, so why not? Second thing I didn't like is the actor who played Robocop showing his fucking face the entire time. Original Robocop never showed his face barely half the time. It's like Sylvester Stallone and Judge Dredd all over again where he has to show his goddamn face all over. Betray the law! Out to the good stuff that I like about this movie. Beginning part where he comes Robocop and you actually get to see him going through all the emotions of what the hell's going on. You get to see the emotion in his eyes like trying to figure out what is going on here. What is this monstrosity? Original Robocop, you never got to see that. He just shows up as Robocop and everything's good. Little by little, he starts to become who he was in the end, having his feelings take over and shit. But this one is from the get-go. He doesn't want to be uh, what he is, but then he slowly by slowly gets there. Michael Keaton plays the main bad guy. I'm gonna call him Batman, because why not? I can't remember his name in this movie. And Gary Oldman plays some doctor who made Robocop. I'm just gonna call him Commissioner Gordon because I can't remember his name either. So Commissioner Gordon and Batman are both in this movie. Batman is bitching out at Commissioner Gordon half the time. And there's this one scene where Commissioner Gordon is trying to stop Robocop from going out there and trying to get his revenge, which reminded me of a scene from Dark Knight when he first meets Batman and he just goes off and shit. What's up with Commissioner Gordon and superheroes? I don't know, what do you think? The wife of Robocop is mighty fine. Yeah, she's emotionally attached in this thing, but who cares? Goddamn, she was just too fine. That's all I could think about. Generic young kid playing the son. Decent. Nothing much to talk about. Robocop's cop cycle, motorcycle, is majorly badass in this thing. It has a slick new look. Of course, it's black and shit, but still it looks good. The design of Robocop. Is it me or does it not remind you of Ultron 5 from the Marvels? Whenever his visor is down, you see the red brightness coming out of there. And it right reminds me of Ultron 5. Yes, it does. Look at it. Watch it. You'll see what I'm talking about. In the original Robocop, for you, those of you who don't know, Robocop becomes Robocop by being shot down in an alleyway full, full of gangsters and shit. And he gets shot all up to hell. Bullets galore. Blood spattered everywhere. It's freaky shit. That's what gave it an R rating. In this version, he gets blown up and burned. Meh. I'm surprised at how much I like this movie. Robocop in this movie is majorly badass. He just does what he does and just kicks ass and does it all in the name of the law. Oh. Now I want to know what you liked about this movie. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, see you later, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Damn, and I grind till I get mine So I keep it on the real like a fish line Nah, I ain't saying I'm the greatest But I'm blowing up, I think it's time that we face